So I just wanted to do a little bit of a video. We're out here at our county fair and we're out here specifically at the uh, animals area because I love the animals. So um, just wanted to show you around a little bit. It's a gorgeous day for it. Very hot, very humid. But um, such a wonderful day to be able to be out with the animals and see what everybody else has been doing with their animals. And thought I would take you guys along just for a little bit of a, uh, a fun day, a different kind of a day, but a little bit of a fun day. So let's go check some things out. So I guess this barn is beef, and then I'm not sure. Yeah. They got just sides of beef laying around. Look at that horse. I don't know much about horses, but it looks nice. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah, there's some cows in here. Oh, those are Holsteins. <laughs> A little bit bigger than our cows. is going to look like, what tank is going to look like. Yeah, what do you think? I like the size we have. <laughs> that looks, um, that is a brown Swiss. You see the straight head? Yeah. Forehead? Yeah, jersey is a thing. Uh, like this. And this actually looks like it might be um, uh, a little bit of a, like a Brahma or something. But look at the size of the Holsteins. I mean, yep. our boy Tank is half Holstein and half Herford. Oh my heavens, sweetheart. That one's head looks like that one's head. Yeah. The, there's a little bit of a difference in the way it goes straight back up to the point, and whereas his, that's just uh, a forehead of a uh, pulled, a naturally pulled cow. You'll get foreheads like that. Just looking at it from the nose, and it seems like it slopes up steeply and then tapers off on both of them. Yeah, I think that is brown Swiss, but it might be a mix of something else. But check out, can, Stan, can you get a little bit close to the back? Not on the straw or anything. Hey, big boy. Now, my husband is six foot one or six foot, and. Oh my heavens, I think I just remembered another one of the reasons I like my jerseys. <laughs> Can you imagine one of these in our uh, stanchion? Yeah, we would. Look at the size of those legs. Wow! some more Herefords over here. What do you want to look at? Now see, I love the looks of this guy over here. Just really nice and beefy. Nice and beefy, but just not real tall. Look at those hindquarters. There's a lot of meat. Yeah. You know, all of these cows here are probably, even the small ones, a year or more, but they're still far and away larger than what we had for uh, Gus. They're showing pigs. Fun. The other night's plans, we'll get them out here, we drive our top on. Close call, we'll bring these two young men right here. I saw that.
I'm doing all right. Are you doing better now that you had a chiropractic adjustment? <laughs> So, um, Dad and I went to go see the uh, beef cows. Uh -huh. Oh my heavens, they're huge. Have you been up close and personal to a Holstein? No. Here. They need to yeah. go. They, Come on. Okay. You need to go see beef this. Bar? That's this beef. one right here. It's right, yeah, it's right here. Oh my. And think about this. Tank is half Holstein, half Hereford. Gus was half Shorthorn, half Holstein. Check out the Holsteins. Because that's what Gus was supposed to be, and he was anything but. I think he was like the dwarf size. Really? Compared to some of these Holsteins. That is a good looking cow. There's some serious stakes going on on that one. Yeah, go off to the right. And then left. He's massive. Look at those uh, hooves, those legs. Yeah. No, can you imagine putting something like that into my stanchion and trying to sit and work underneath something like that? Yeah, forget it. Take a look at this cow. Yeah, beautiful. Really bear. Yeah. Go watch the horses. Yeah. I think I'll stick with the quarter horses. <laughs> because they're one quarter the size. Yeah. Today just got beat by a, a pretty nice one on top. Young man that falls in third. You got like a lot of things about because that one's got some look and design from the side. That one's got some extra body and cavity. Still stout enough in terms of his bone for me. I studied that one off both ends. And then you get graded on how well he led, how, how good he looked, the condition he was in. Abby, there's a bee. sheep. That's not a bee. It's still in your hair. Should we go look at the sheep? Yeah, yeah. One. I can't want to see if um, some people I know. Okay, yeah, you let's go. One? I would get a sheep before I would get a goat. What, really? Yeah, really. No, they don't do anything. Sheep just mow your lawn. They, 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 sheep, sheep are yummy. Sheep are yummy. Lamb chops. <laughs> we used to have, we used to, when I was really little, we used to have sheep just like that one. Yeah, we need ours. They are. They are. But, and they do. And the thing is, you have to rotate them because they will destroy the grass because they'll eat it right down to uh, below, yeah, to dirt. So it's very important to, um, you know, take care of them. And they're not. of my... Uh, that's fine. Uh, wow! <laughs> wow! 
Uh huh. Up here, and then pooping and peeing. Get it. Uh, well, let's go ahead and start. Right, it's rug rat, right? Yep. That's what I thought. Oh, no, not pregnant, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at the brown and white one. It's a red hole scene. It's like they, they all look oh. like they've just been milked. Yeah, there's the jerseys. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, look at their eyes. I love the jerseys. Oh, beautiful. No, she's okay. No. Last March. This was an old one. No, that's a girl. So you can tell by the way it is. Look at her face. She's beautiful. Melody, because this I is the know. dairy farm. And she's six years old. And then you get the big heifer. Look at that big white one over there. That big white one. Look at how gorgeous she is. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's being so good. Oh, she's so beautiful. Big white one down here. Um, look at this white one on your right, uh, left. Red. How they got the color on this one? What is this one? Wait a minute. This one. Oh, I should know. I should know this one. Uh, red. Um, Normandy. I think it's a Normandy. those tractors down there. Okay, so what's going to the fair without eating some fair food? I'm gonna go get some funnel cake, elephant ears, fat balls, and probably feel absolutely horrible afterwards. But yeah, I mean, that's future sausages. me's problem. <laughs> What's that? That's sausages. future me's problem. Yeah, that's that's not my problem right now. I'll that's deal with that. I'll deal with the repercussions of my poor decision, Tomorrow. life choices. Tomorrow later not on. Here. That's right. So don't matter what we do today. No, <laughs> these are rentals. Can we like grab one? <laughs> these are rentals. Can we like borrow one? Well, let's get a um, uh, an elephant ear. We'll share it, and then we'll share a funnel cake. Okay. Abby. <laughs>
Okay, well, thank you, but uh, for all of us, okay? Yeah. I don't think I should go any faster. Something might come off. Yes, I know I'm a little crazy on this, but it's pretty good. It brings in a lot of good stuff. Horrendously, evilly, delicious. <laughs>